Be Transcom regulating and command to control evacuation system or traces helps battlefield medics manage their patients care from the time that they become injured to the time that they are evacuated. Petty Officer Michael Frosch explains why getting training on traces is important for all service branches. Traces is actually an acronym, uh, Transcom Regulating and Command and Control Evacuation System. When it was built, it was the idea for the battlefield commanders to be able to monitor their patients all the way from point of injury to their final destination. I travel around, teach traces to units and people that need it. Um, in the same sense, when I was deployed down to the JPMRC in Qatar, I would travel around Iraq and Afghanistan and I would teach traces to deployed units. People see traces and they see it as an Air Force only type of billet, but last time we had uh, Army people coming down to teach, we have plenty of Navy, I work with Canadians and uh, any other service we'll work with. During the exercise I might be called in to just fix problems with the database and see if I can find another way around to make it work. This is, uh, this is probably one of the most realistic trainings I've seen, especially for patient movement. They actually get hands on, move a patient through the system from point of injury all the way to getting them the lawn stool for care. Air Force needs this as well because a lot of guys don't get the hands-on like this they would at home station or they might not get the uh, experience working with the Army and trying to overcome issues with the pad or trying to just move guys comfortably. Working with the Air Force is uh, pretty nice. I've actually done it for the last four years. So this is the type of training that they really need. They can see how it is to get somebody through the cache and get somebody through the AE system, which might feasibly happen while they're deployed. So this is something they really need before they go downrange. 